Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about things that happened this week in anime history. And we're starting <clears> off with, with the birth of this guy, Leiji Matsumoto. Oh, yes. Born January 25th, 1938, and still around, still producing stuff, still working. Um, what is your guys like? What was your first Leiji Matsumoto? Jeez, I'm not even sure I know. I know yeah. watching I mean, Tenchi. Probably started like Leishi first. Yeah, I mean, was there anything before that? Before what? Uh, Star Blazers. I mean, Star yeah, Blazers. had he no. done any other stuff? Because, I mean, yeah. like, I like to watch Marine Boy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, yeah, you know what I mean? Or yeah, Aqua yeah. Boy or whatever he was called. I don't even know who made that. I don't even know um, when it was made. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. So Star Blazers, definitely the first. But yeah. I, I can't yeah. think if I had ever seen anything else prior mm. or in around that same period that he was a part of or influential to that I would have yeah. recognized yeah. later on. So yeah, Star was... Blazers would have been for me mm. it, it, it's definitely the first, but would have been the fourth anime that I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Like like you know like that that's how young I was. But yeah. but you know so old enough, you know, graduated from the from the you know Kim of the Lion and, and uh, you know Speed Racer and, and Marine Boy actually, mm -hmm. um, and then going into Star Blazers and 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 watching that as as a kid not understanding any of it because I was like five <laughs> I think, um, but yeah, yeah we were Star we were Blazers. older than that Steve, <laughs> we weren't quite five, <laughs> we were older <laughs> than that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that's that Star Blazers would be about the earliest thing I could certainly think of. Um, Star Blazers, uh, let's see here. Looking for this, um, seventy nine. So we were older than five, Steve. Eight, okay, <laughs> eight. Yeah, we were up to the point where we could actually have like coherent memory and like put sentences <laughs> together. So we were doing pretty good. Um, yeah, mine first was probably um, Harlock Saga, I think, which was the okay. Harlock OVA. Um, I had seen bits, bits and pieces of, of uh, Star Blazers on TV, but it wasn't, it wasn't like being consistently broadcast yeah, um, right. on whatever channels I, I was at. So I, you know, I would catch half an episode here and there, but you know, couldn't really get into it. Um, and then I got into anime, and then um, and Matsumoto stuff in general was not easy to find. Like a lot of it hadn't been licensed yet. Um, mm -hmm. And Harlock Saga was one of the first. Okay, here's a complete OVA, a complete story. You can just sit down and watch it. Um, and really enjoyed that because of all of the uh, um, um, references to... Actually, yeah. Um, Galaxy Express 3.9 is the movie was on Sci-Fi Channel. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't get into it. Oh. I, I, I couldn't yeah. watch much of it. It's just the style was too different. The storytelling was so abbrevi was, was so compressed. Um, I just couldn't get into that movie at the time. Um, so I'd watch, you know, the first half hour and shut it off. Um, but uh, Harlock Saga, that was, the, that, that was what got me in, personally. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I, Star Blazers was a thing. That's like, I can't remember anything else coming into syndication that looked mm -hmm. anything like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I didn't see Galaxy Express 3.9s until, like, it was literally on a, a bootleg VHS. Wow. Yeah. Um, it, I think it was, I think it was, it was, I was aware of Star Blazers. It was several years later that I saw like a model or I saw something in a comic book shop that was the Arcadia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, I'm like, it's the Yamato. And I was like, what the, no, what the hell's wrong with the front end of it? What the hell's <laughs> on the back? I'm like, that doesn't look, it, it looks kind of like it, but I'm like, that's not the Yamato. What the hell's that thing? So it's like, yeah, that's that's probably about the earliest memory I can think of having a, a Leisure's mm. franchise thing. That, that's Star Blazers, what I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Star Blazers. Galaxy, I, uh, a friend of mine, uh, speaking of bootleg tapes, had it uh, mm. my freshman year of college. Wow. Down in, down in North wow. Carolina. So, yeah. 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 Dang. Back in the day. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think, was, I, think uh, I think my buddy had it. it was junior or senior year of high school so about yeah. around, around the same yeah. time mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm laughing because um one of the first AMVs i ever saw was a compilation of death scenes in anime 
um, called, um, um, uh, um, I think it was Neon Genesis Kennedy, uh, Neon Genesis Kenny, Death and More Death, uh, referencing Kenny set from South Park. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, and the, uh, the, the, the subtitles they showed some Yamato stuff was, uh, my euthanasia, which I just <laughs> love that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ties it back to all the Harlock stuff. Just, just. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, one other historical note this week. Uh, the end of original Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, January 26th, 1980. The final, yeah. the 40th, 43rd episode of Gundam uh, aired in Japan because ratings were that low. And they had to rush and finish up their storyline and, and get it out there. And Gundam disappeared forever. Never to be seen yeah, again. Yeah, there, there's no no franchise, no nope. model kits, nope. and some Nothing. savvy dude like George Lucas just snapped at the merchandising rights <laughs> and said, "Oh, it'll probably never pay out in the end." And now, eight billion model mm. kits later, living like a king mm-hmm. or a queen, whoever the hell bought it. But. There we go. Yeah, um, but yeah, kind of kind of weird to imagine living in that time and watching Gundam and going, "Oh, it's a shame." You know, like, yeah. You know, I liked it, but I guess we'll never see any of that again. Because <laughs> yeah, because you wouldn't imagine it would. Like, you know, okay, swing and a miss. Oh well. Yeah, can you imagine it? I mean, you, you watch something that you like, it's gone. And you're just like, oh well, you know, whatever. Then one day, model kit. What? <laughs> oh come on, we were all there with the A team and the greatest American hero. <laughs> you know, we all loved it, and then it just went away one day. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> It's it's uh it, it's kind of amazing. Um, Buck Buck Rogers, we were on board and gone. Yeah. Don't laugh, I had the starship. Mm. Star Trek never made it the five years of the journey, right. did it's, they? Uh, no. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> yeah. well, Lord Green's Battlestar Galactic, gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Space 1999. Ah, I see. See, we've all been there. Yeah. Star Trek's the reason we get some of these shows back. Uh, B. Joe Trimble, the, the original fan who got Star Trek back in the air. Yeah, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I mean, that's interesting too, because that's sort of a, that's the kind of Gundamish thing. It's like yeah. it ran, they said, nope. And then people were like, well, you know, hold on a second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Revives and it just keeps reviving. Yeah. <laughs> go Gundam, go Star Trek. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, people like don't realize, I think. Until they get into uh, to anime, how you know, people people look at the story history of Star Trek and all the different Star Treks there are. <laughs> Let me show you Gundam, man. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah. In terms of different, the series. list keeps scrolling. Why yeah. is it stopping yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just keep churning. OVAs, ONAs, series, mm-hmm. oh, movies. Oh, it's a, it's a <laughs> on and on and on. Um, which is why we're going to announce um, we're going to be reviewing every a- a Gundam anime. Uh, one series per week, starting starting now. So for the rest of our that. lives. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just one series a week. We're gonna watch Zeta Gundam next week, <laughs> and then Double Zeta the next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I have yeah. enough lifetimes. Yeah. For that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there will be no eating. There will be no sleeping. Exactly. There will be no working. There'll be just nothing but Gundam solid until we're done. Well, it's, it's maybe twenty hours for for one of those series. You know, not too bad. Uh, yeah, not terrible. <laughs> How many series in total are there? <laughs> oh, about nine hundred. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then after that, we'll take a breather yeah. for a week, and then we'll start right. on One Piece. Oh. 